What's up, gang? It's Frontline, and I'm back with another book. So check this out. Today, I'm going to need all my ladies to chime in on this one. I'm talking to the men also, especially dealing, especially the men that's in the um, industry and dealing with entertainment, things like that. I just want to know, after hearing what Megan said to Future, I mean, about Future, do y'all feel like it's harder in the industry for a woman? You know, because like, I'm not going to say nothing in particular, but uh, $250,000 for a feature, bro. It's like, I don't see Future charging no other male artist debt because, you know, maybe because of uh, relationships or whatever. But I don't know. But just, you know, y'all chime in and let me know what y'all think about what Megan got to say about the deal her and Future did in Miami. And uh, tap in, let me know on the notification, and I'm going to also be with the feedback. Let's go, Lit Gang. This is the one I want to talk about. Okay. All right, so you and Future, how did this song come about? Okay, so it's a really crazy story. So I had the beat for Pressure Licious, right? And I, I recorded the song, and I recorded it one way. And I'm like, you know what? This will really sound hard if Future was on it. So I feel like being a woman in the industry, reaching out to a man trying to get a feature is always going to be a task. <laughs> like, you know, like you never know what to expect. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know how it's about to go. Um, so how I went about it was okay. Somebody figure out what's fe- uh, future feature price. Like let's just ask him what's his feature price. Okay. Uh, and they was like, okay, two fifty. He won two hundred fifty k. I was like, okay, bet. Uh, somebody go pull two hundred fifty thousand dollars out the bank. <laughs> out the account real quick. <laughs> yeah, somebody go pull two hundred fifty thousand dollars out the bank and go drop it off to future and tell him I need the verse before he leave. Cause we, I, I feel like we was both in Miami. And uh, I told my manager, I was like, and I feel like it was a Sunday. <laughs> but I wanted that feature. I was like, Ferris, you got to go get that money out of the bank. He was like, man, how y'all, how you want us to put $250,000 out of the bank? I told us somebody from my label, I was like, we need to get $250,000 before you leave Miami because I got to get this first. Um, but anyways, blah, blah, blah. We got the $250,000. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I had my manager go drop it off to him in the backpack and uh, gave me my verse back. First of all, he wrapped over the whole beat. Like, he gave you, he gave you the full. He gave me the whole song. future experience. Like, yeah, he gave me the whole song. So because he gave me the whole song, I had to go in the studio and I had to like edit, put it together. Yeah. Okay. So then when I got his verses, I was like, I got to write some new verses. Like, cause I got to make this make sense. So then I got in the studio with my engineer and then I put the song together and I was like, this is pressure. This, this makes sense. Five. I like this. Let's do this. Woo. What, when, when he heard it, was he like, what the hell? I, I gave you seven minutes. Why is this? <laughs> Where'd it go? And now, like, we got I a few. Like, we got a few. <laughs> so. right. All right. So first of all, shout out to Meg for understanding the business, man. You know, not taking a hard way. You know, she. Oh.